issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He got the turnover in that kick. Well, he's working in some solid leg kicks here in D.C. Not just one, right? A combination of kicks to the leg. And oftentimes, it only takes one to render you a one-legged fight. I mean, he's throwing the back to back. And he is just eating up that leg. Eventually, it's going to snap to switch stances to try to change up the target. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Straight right hand, no good. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we've seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. That strike blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Good jab. I mean, he's cutting down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. You got to check these low leg kicks. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that clean. Joy strike attempt there is blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. What a punch. The right hand just misses. Oh, big hit of the body. That'll soften him up. And a knee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he lands yet another jab. Hey, he pays to be the longer fighter. And he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Tags him with the left. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, right to the mount. One minute to go in round one. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. 
Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. They continue to exchange. Second round, straight ahead. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good. Not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one up. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Powerful leg kick land. Nice straight punch there. Unable to connect with a right hook. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over the critical, but and he gets it. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, big punch lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Wow. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. He Bottom needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. 90 seconds to go now. 
All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has some mission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very active, he's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Both fighters back to their feet now. Blocks the shot. 15 seconds to go. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Relax, recover. Got the better of you with the strike in that round. We're smarter than he is. He's going to come out and try to do the same thing. We're going to be prepared. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead. Uh, gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And they separate. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, well, that's a good strike there by Shaw. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice leg kick. Oh, and the volume of leg kicks just continues to rain down. How long does it take as a fighter for you to start feeling those leg kicks? I mean, one, the very first leg kick you feel, it's up to you to really tough it out and get through the fight. Toughness, not my strong suit. <laughs> All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Good punch. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Hands high, hands high. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Can't take many of those. You better check. Not 
sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, nice. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice strike. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Massive knee lands for Tyson. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Dig and kick. That one landed clean. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. So quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his beautiful right. That was a big takedown. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking to the He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Lands the short elbow there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice body kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Yeah, he picks it all up. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice punch by Choi. Perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, straight right. Oh, he got that inside. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. 
big punch lands through the middle. Just misses with the jab. Big elbow! Just misses with that one. And they separate. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. That one snuck in. Nice strike. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> How good is that right hand? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands with the right hand. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Whoa! Just missed with the left there. Straight punch lands. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. So there, I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Striking is unbelievable. You're mixing it up perfectly. I love what you're doing with your kicks. Keep those going. He's slowing down. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round forthcoming. Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Choi's shot is blocked. Lands flush with the left hand. Good punch, Lance.
Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.